Good afternoon, everybody. So welcome to the rollout of our JS5 in Potsdam. And uh, we're quite excited that we actually do get another opportunity to fly. We were a bit nervous about the weather. There was a storm coming through, and uh, we had the first flight already. So Ati had the opportunity to to test flight the first one. Ati, if you can uh, come and give your impressions here. Yeah? yeah. So it was a really fun flight. The overriding impression, like I told everybody, was ease of handling. It was so easy to fly. I mean, I could trim it out, hands off on the toe. It was slower than the JS3, that's obvious, it's all this, you can see it's a long wind pan lighter. Fully coordinated, I didn't, didn't do maximum roll reversal, but I did some roll reversals in the York Street State Center the whole time, so it was really easy to fly, really fun so far. Uh, the aircraft as we fly now is uh, the same fuselage as the JS5. JS2, the JS2. Sorry, the JS2 and the JS5 share, share the same fuselage. Yeah. As you can see also, this fuselage is the one that we use for the JS2 uh, first flight. Only with the JS5 wings connected to it. So we have to move the engine at this moment, so it's a pure glider, as we are doing all the required upgrades um, as we have designed over the last few months. With the new pylon, uh, engine with zero vibration, and new propeller. So these things um, are not installed now. So the empty weight of this aircraft is only 430 kilograms. But, and uh, and the maximum all-up weight or the minimum um, weight with the engine is still to expect to be around about 485 kilograms is the expected one. And as we said earlier, this is amazing low wing loading. We expect the wing loading to be around about 40 with 100 kilogram pilot up to about 58, which gives you quite a wide um, range. And with such a span, I think this is going to be a this is going to be our best aircraft. So we, we hope that that the, the planning that we've done is, is, is quite as it is. So maybe I think you can just tell about the challenges that we had um, in the design. It's just not the simple aircraft to design. It's, uh, as I said, it's, it's the most complex one that we've done. Yeah, so it was, um, so right from the beginning, we realized this is a structure problem. I mean, you can just make aircraft wings longer, 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 but the performance doesn't go up all the way. Because as you get longer, you must make the root thicker. If the root is thicker, the drag is higher. So me and Bossy spend a lot of time doing a, a, a integrated aerodynamic structural um, design. So so we look where's the optimum point for the staff strength of the carbon fiber there. As you make the wing longer, it becomes too thick at the root. So we look for the optimum point. So we think 24.4 meters is what carbon fiber gives us the optimum wingspan from our calculated integrated aerodynamic structure design. Yeah, and then also we paid a lot of attention to the, the wing twisting. So we use eyes stiffness carbon fiber in the skin. The skin is exceptionally stiff. So we have that pace of at the high speed flight end that we don't degrade before due to wing twisting. So and then there's a lot of small innovations in the aircraft, in the wing, and the design. But we paid a lot of attention to structural deformation during flight and what the performance will be. So all our calculations with the performance is, is with taking structural deformation into account. How the structure will really look in the air. And this is the first time we've done this, which was new for us. And then obviously it's a massive wingspan with a thin wing and big spar, so it was difficult for us to design initially. And the manufacturing was the challenge, but I think it's now really easy to do it a second one. Yeah, so it's four wing panel, uh, yeah, four, two inner, two outer, and then the and then the wing tips removed. So on one on the left hand side there's an inner wing, a tip and a wing lip. So six pieces in total. I think if you look at the uh, the wing profile we can maybe just look down the, the plan form here. It's absolutely stunning. I'm a little bit wet after our first uh, shower, so I think it was already baptized in day one. New on this plan is that we have full drive. So anytime you drive the, the control surface, make more drag. But then if you don't drive, then it deforms on the, on the flight plans. So we've calculated better to, to have a small drag increase and then an absolute accurate airfall throughout the flight range without deformation. Uh, and that gives you a, a higher total performance. Like I said, we take the whole time into account the structural deformation during flight. How will the structure get to the air and base the performance on that? And then we see it's actually really important to do that. You have to keep the structure stiff. So the wings are really stiff. Personally, I mean, this is really stiff. This is normal diet. It's impossible to fix it functionally. And then the same with the, the ailerons. So they're all made of, of very strong or high, not just carbon fiber, to reduce the, the torsional stiffness so that we are 
as close as possible to the theoretical shape in the air than we are on the ground. Okay. And, 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 and the more you're close to the air design, the air shape, the more accurate are your calculations.